And don't look at how crooked it is or the wood burning skills on there. I was kind of getting hang of it down there at the bottom. But this was um, that cedar, one of the cedar trees I drug home from across the road here down that hill, like a mile in that he down that hill. It looks pretty bad, but you can't. But anyway, it was that cedar I'd brought home, and I got a couple of shells in there left that I'm gonna have to get them done. I just, I don't think I'm gonna be dragging up any more trees. So I wanna be real selective on what I do with them. Um, I, you know, I was, I was thinking about my children, you know, they're, they're also clumsy, and my daughter was telling me a funny story. She said, when she was in Ohio, she's, she always gets kind of, you know, red in the face when I, we go off and I get tripped over on something. Or, you know, tangled up in a paper bag or something silly. Well, you know, she told me, she said, Mom, I was so embarrassed and I had to kind of laugh myself. She said I offered to just use the sweeper and it was electric. And she said, I got all tangled up in the thing. It was running around my legs. And she said, all, all I could think was, I'm just like my mama. <laughs> she got all tangled. She was embarrassed. She said, I quickly got it unplugged and uh, I put it back and I, I asked her if she had something normal like a regular broom and she took care of it that way. But you know, she, I, I, she that's about the age I started getting, I got a little clumsy, but I didn't even realize I was clumsy, if that makes sense. You know, and, and I saw it in my kids all the time and I, I wondered where that gene came from. How'd they get so clumsy? You know, my son, he broke, he's broke leg three times, same, well, three, three places one, you know, one time. Broke his thumb twice, his ankle, each ankle. He's, he's had so many stitches. Sarah, every time she put her hand in a, in a glass, she had had stitches. And there I am bouncing around, falling, and um, <laughs> not even realizing that, you know, that I'm clumsy. I just really didn't think I was. But <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you something that was really terrible. Just, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this because you know, sometimes I might say something might embarrass one of my children. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them myself so they don't got nothing to, to come back up on me. But they'll find something, but they might not, they'll have to think about it a while. But anyway, <laughs> well, I, I was in deep sleep, got up in the middle of the night, I had to go, you know, if I had to get up and go pee, it's just part of nature. But I get in there, I was so tired, and, and I guess I just fell, I fell deeper asleep sitting up until I wasn't sitting up no more, you know? I was like, <laughs> It was a hard fall, too. I, I slept all the way down. My little finger got hung up in this little rack thing I had in there for the, you know, to hold multiple toilet papers. And <laughs> broke my little finger. I hit my head. I mean, I can't, I mean, it, I, 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 it was like a springboard and it just slung me in there. But I hit my head and I think I was so, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just kind of hit my head a little too hard, but whatever it was, I just, I just rolled the rug up and, put my head on and stayed there till he woke me up then he, when he got ready for work. And I was, and he was like, what? You know, what in the world, what happened? <laughs> and it's awful to have to tell him that I fell asleep on the toilet and just rolled right off of it, broke my finger. I'd been in there dancing around for two, two hours holding my finger. So I got it wrapped up pretty good. <laughs> it was just too much. You know, I, when I hit my head, I bruised my face all up pretty good. So it was kind of embarrassing, but I couldn't let people think I was hit, you know, getting hit when it really it's just me rolling off the toilet. But oh, anyway, it's just price got to pay, you know. But like I said, it, it was funny because I just can't imagine getting up to go to work and just finding somebody rolling off the toilet. You know, it's happened to me and my sister quite often. And I got one when she came home today. I, you know, I think I heard, uh, I think it was on um, March and AP and all them. Talking, talking last night. I think it was whenever it was. They were talking about cars. But you know, it, it tickled me because I got, I got, I remembered. You know, my sister and I used to go off all the time. In fact, you know, we we drank together, but we we all we quit at the same time too. It was all because of that Orlando trip. But you know, when her when we were younger, we would go to go off and ride bulls and, you know, I don't know, we'd just do anything country. We'd go to a country bar and a rock and roll bar and we'd have a good time for a little while and then we'd go home. Well, you know, sometimes, <laughs> this is terrible. Sometimes on our way home, you know, we might, might have had a little too much drink and we needed one of us to drive, really. But not, we, I mean, we 
we made it, and by the grace of God, we didn't take nobody out. And, and you know, it's not a lesson learned, but, you know, just <laughs> my sister, she wasn't a good driver. I don't care what day of the year it was, but she, <laughs> she'd get distracted, you know, like if you, if you showed her something on, if you showed her, if you said, look at that mailbox, she would go toward the mailbox. If you said, look at that sign over there, she'd go toward the sign. <laughs> You know, it was just an automatic thing for her. She just could not get that part right. So, and, and to be safe, we, we went down these little tiny, you know, in, in the city, you know, little cobblestone roads to keep them being detected so we could get back to the house. It was so funny because we're going up this little road and this car really shouldn't have been there, but it was, and, and it really shouldn't have been there is what I'm saying. <laughs> and my dumb ass looked at it and said, hey, Boy, look at that pretty red Corvette right there parked on the side of the road. And as she's looking at it, we just so wide swiped. It just kind of, it was just awful. It was awful, I'm telling y'all. We just had some events that, we had things happen all the time to us that, you know, well, usually it was me laughing because she don't have a sense of humor and she don't like anybody. I, I liked everybody, she didn't <laughs> like one night we're sitting in we're sitting in a place and and we had our drinks sitting in front of us and this man come over and he was just you know just flirting around drunk and he kept asking us what we were drinking and we said we're, well we're leaving you know we don't want another drink but thank you and he kept insisting to to see what we were drinking he's gonna get us something and then finally <laughs> my old hateful sister Sitting across from me, she took her drink and shoved it up in his face. She's like, well, here, drink it. And the straw got stuck in his eyeball. And he bent up, and, and he, he just looked at us, and I'm looking at him like in total shock. And he's looking at us, and he was like, well, ain't y'all just two little bitches? And he turned around and walked off with the straw sticking out of his eye. It was time to go. Time to go. We had to go. <laughs> But we, we, we used to get in some adventures. I'm really happy she's home because we're finishing up our last adventure and then we'll be able to hope maybe go home if we can be good enough. Now, if I'm not good enough, I'm not, I, I hope he lets me stay here a little bit longer. I'm, I'll put a picture of what this looked like, you know, before, but it, it I think it turned out really pretty. And, you know, it was, it was real plain. And I got, you know, went on there and got the colors for the Disney thing. Actually, it's prettier now than it was when I bought it, and I had it in a long time. But I think it turned out really pretty. I was really proud of it. And then the, the little other rocks I colored, well, painted, you know, I didn't sit down there with pencil and color them, but I just did down there. Let me show you this real quick, because we're getting down here. Now, a lot of the, a lot of the create, well, this, these are painted rocks, honestly. But, let's see. We had, that's um, something I just had someone put the initials on for Angel. I don't write that well. And that, these angels here, I have two of them out here. Had them a very long time. And they were real plain, and then they got weathered. And I just thought, well, either I can fit, I can I can make them look pretty, or I'll have to just go and throw them away. So, it t they turned out good. Now, I don't know if I'll be, they'll, I'm hoping they'll go through one more clean. And then that, I have a little, notes out here from all my kids you know they're kind of hid around the yard in here it was there in the garden but like um this one and they don't even pay it in their mind really i think it's kind of crazy but i got this one out here if i can get this thing right but it's you know it, it's got all their names on it and it just says never forget for a minute not only did you grow under my heart but in it forever and then just kind of a little thing i put on the back I wanted them to have, because they'll know, they'll know what that means. So I wanted them to have something to know what, because they know, because I complain a lot, they know. Oh, trust me, they know, they know everything. Let me show you this one before I have to turn this thing off. This one, I, you know, I, it wasn't much, and it didn't take but a couple of days to do, but I was, um, I was, I was, I was, it was nice to be able to give respect where respect is due, you know what I mean? It's. It felt good to get this done. So I'll be right back.